And I'm going to show you how to use the bone tool today in Flash Creative Cloud. Um, I've created a little sunflower here uh, just using the brush tool in Flash. Remember that when you're changing between your tools, you can see in the properties menu different things you can do. Um, currently, I'm working on a different object, so we can't see that stuff. Um, here's your pencil tool. Your brushes, you have different shapes and things that you can pull down if you'd like to use those to paint an object, which I did for these leaves and the stem. And then I just use the oval tool to create the circles and the petals of the flower. So my plan is to make this sunflower appear like it's leaning back and forth over and over again, as if it's bending from the middle here. Um, and then you can create a field of them um, when it's sort of looking like the sunflowers are floating back and forth in the wind. So the first thing, because I know I want this to happen over and over again, the first thing I want to do is get the selection tool, right click on this object and convert it to a symbol. Make it a movie clip. Call it Sunflower. I was just working with it before so I'm going to call this Sunflower 1. And then you need to go into the library and start to work with the movie clip that you've created. So double click to get into the symbol that you just made. Then we're going to go grab the bone tool which is M on your keyboard. And we're going to start by setting the pivot point. This is going to be, uh, think of it as the anchor point from which the rest of your animation um, will sort of root from, I guess. So placing it down at the bottom, and then I want the first place where it's going to bend to be in the middle here. So that's what this first drop point is here. And then I'm going to set this up here. This will be the spot where I'm going to pivot it from. So this red diamond with the white center is that pivot point. It will stay anchored, and then this is the first sort of joint. It's almost, if you think about it, like an arm. This would be the shoulder, this would be the elbow, and this would maybe be the wrist and the hand. Uh, so that's how it's going to work. Okay, once you've set the bones, the armature, on your object, then you can just go add a few frames down the way. Just right-click Insert Frames. Essentially what you're going to do is create the keyframes by using the bones that you've created. So I'm just floating uh, my uh, playhead here at just 10 or 11. I'm going to lean it over a little bit to the left. And you see how it pivoted on that point, and I used this to pivot it. When I move across to 20, I've set a keyframe. It's very similar to how Shape Tween works. And uh, I'm going to pull over here, go back to the middle. And let's say I'm going to go to this side now, and then maybe somewhere along here I'll end up back in the middle again. Really wasn't necessary to do that many things, but I just wanted you to see how it worked. So there's the flower. You can see that the bottom is not moving, but the top is moving based on that pivot point. Now I'm going to go back to the scene. You can tell I've been working in the movie clip symbol because here's the, the information here that I'm in a movie clip called Sunflower. I'm going to go back to the scene. Essentially what I've done already will create the animation. We're just going to give it some time. I believe it was 35 or 36 frames, so if we want to happen twice, I'm going to put a keyframe down here. I can go and test my movie, control test movie, or command return. That's working well, so that's good. It's just repeating over and over because it's in the library. If I wanted to make a field of them, first of all, I could shrink them. Now let's remember I just added that to this frame, which isn't ideal, right? So I'm going to cut it. Command Z. We'll go back to the start here. And I can make these a little bit smaller. You could bring in a whole bunch of them. Now, in this case, I'm bringing them all in at the same time, but don't forget about the possibility of starting some a little bit later so you could stagger it. Insert a keyframe here, bring another sunflower in, shrink it. You'll notice that this one will move at a little bit different time than the other one. You could have another layer could start one here for instance. So always be thinking about things like how you could stagger the animation a little bit to make it look more realistic. It's, it's not going to look very realistic if you always have the exact same symbol going throughout it. Um, you should definitely mix them up here and there. 
Uh, looks like I still had this one as gigantic here, so that's the air there. So it's probably going to shrink a little when it comes across. And I think I didn't paste this one all the way through. What I might do here, which would be good problem solving for you, is clear that keyframe and then go back and put the keyframe back in. That way you'll get those two flowers staying the same. All right, let's watch it now. I think we need to give a bit more time to a couple more layers. So we'll just put these in here and command return to watch them. Oh, there they are, they're appearing there. So those are blinking in because I don't have them starting at the very beginning of the animation. Uh, but anyway, you could figure out how to stagger them throughout and, and have it appear like things are happening at different times. Anyway, that's how to use the bone tool and good luck. Think of different creative ways to make it work.